mental discipline. We must empower our expectations because expectation is our greatest superpower. But the enemy can't strip you of the superpower. They can just strip you of the belief that you have that you can use your superpower. Yeah. 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 And so, if two people got ready to enter into covenant, start over at that side of the world. So I'm going to start on this side. So if two people got ready to enter into a covenant, let, like you have a, a goat or a cow, whatever. You have your animal, I have my animal. We walk towards each other to the place we're going to enter into the covenant. Grab one of those markers right there. That's going to be your knife. Okay? And you, you're leading your, your animal in your left hand. Okay, so turn around and kill it. Turn around this, this way, this way. And then, yeah, and then kill your animal. Cut it in pieces. So I'm going to kill my animal. Cut it in pieces. <laughs> like the guys at the Japanese steakhouse, right? Okay, anyway, so, so you turn around, he killed his animal. I killed my animal. We sacrificed an animal. By the way, it wasn't just any animal. It was an animal that grew up in our house, that we love, that we were familiar with. This is how covenants happen, right? So, so, so he, he and I are getting ready to become covenant brothers. So what's going to happen is, Willis, when I say go, walk around slowly around the carcass of that animal in a circle. I'm going to walk around the carcass of my animal in a circle. Okay, you ready? Go. We're going to come back in the middle between those two animal carcasses face to face. We're taking in the brutality of the death of that animal. We're coming back in the middle face to face. We have a knife in our left hand. Put your knife in your left hand. We cut our right hand. We put our hands together. We would bind it together with a rope. We would exchange covenant promises. I would say, Willis Jenkins, I am going to give everything I have. I'm going to give my life, I'm going to give my time, I'm going to give my energy, I'm going to give my wealth, I'm going to give all my resources, everything I have to protect you and yours. Even my very life if necessary. And if I don't keep my promise to you, may what happened to that animal happen to me. He's saying, if he doesn't keep, go ahead and point at the animal. He's saying if he doesn't keep his word, he's going to, he's going to give all his time, effort, energy, resources. Jeez, he's scientist knowledge. Um, for me and my family. Your family. And if he doesn't do that, may what happen to that animal happen to him. We're going to exchange covenant names. My name is going to become Myron Willis Gold. His name is going to become Willis Myron Jenkins. We exchange covenant names. And now we've sworn on our existence to look out for the other person more than we look out for ourselves. So if you understand a covenant, a covenant is not like a contract. A covenant is the opposite of a contract. A contract is an agreement between two or more individuals based upon a mutual distrust. If Willis and I were getting into a contract together, we would sign a piece of paper that says, if you don't give me what you told me you're going to give me, I'm taking you to court and you're going to give it to me. He's saying, if you don't give me what you told me, I'm taking you to court and you give it to me. Right? So, so it's the exact opposite. But when we're in covenant together, we swear on our own existence to keep our word to each other. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah. Okay, now watch this. What would happen in your life if every time you told yourself you were going to do something, instead of just making a wish or stating a statement, what if you entered into a covenant with yourself <clears throat> that I'm going to do this thing or I'm going to die trying? That's a totally different level of investment than, yeah, I'm going to try. You know what try is? Try as the back doors open before the front door closes. Am I telling you all the truth? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to build a business. I'm going to try to make some sales. I'm gonna try. I don't try. There's no try. You don't have to try to breathe. You just breathe. You don't have to try to eat. You just eat. We need to eliminate try from our vocabulary because it is a word that has no meaning. Well, it does have a meaning. It means a try is a lie. Did I say that too fast? And if you try, you lie. So what we got to do is we have to learn to make commitments to ourselves and just decide. We have to make decisions. We have to decide. Thank you. Give it up for Willis, y'all. Thank you, Willis. <laughs>